Where did the technosphere originate? When did it start? Well, basically, as soon as uh, it was discovered that there was a, a giant store of uh, stored energy in the form of fossil fuels, um, it, it basically the technology itself of exploiting this resource or these resources went into overdrive and uh, has evolved into a system that is basically going to chew through these resources as efficiently and quickly as possible, letting nothing stand in its way. Your book brings up nature-like technologies. That's an interesting concept. Where did that come from? Well, um, what, what put it on my radar was uh, put in speech before the UN General Assembly, of all, of all things. And I think he pretty much coined the term. Um, but basically what he said that e even if we cut carbon dioxide emissions and stop runaway global warming, um, that, that's just a stopgap. What we really have to do is shift people from, from using technologies that destroy nature to technologies that conserve it. Um, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically the thrust of what he said. And, and that made me realize that, hey, other people are thinking about it at, at the highest level. So why don't I start thinking in the same direction? Can you talk a little bit about nature-like technologies? Oh, sure. Like there's a, an entire technology suite that has existed in Russia for many centuries. Uh, centered around uh, things like the log cabin uh, and and the stove inside the log cabin because you know it's a, it's a climate where you have to heat eight nine months of out of the year and then the rest of the year you can't even cook indoors because you, you you'd have like a hot place to sleep in you know and who wants that <laughs> um, so then you know for the summer all all of that activity moves outdoors so during the winter, there's this massive piece of masonry that stays warm. And during the summer, there's this massive piece of masonry that stays cool, um, called the Russian stove, that people sleep on top of, they bathe inside of, animals sleep under it. It's, it's used to smoke meat and fish. Um, it, it has a, a, a chimney plug-in for the samovar, which they use to boil water using pine cones and things. So it does all of these different functions. Uh, lots and lots of different functions. That's just one example uh, of like a nature-like technology suite that exists, still exists all over Russia. It, I can go to any village in Russia, semi-abandoned or abandoned village, that there's probably a log cabin that's still salvageable. There's probably a Russian stove inside that's still salvageable. I can just move in and live. <laughs>